Hey what's going on guys then my your fortel school learnings and welcome back to another video tutorial and a javascript for beginners that is the jquery part especially the dom manipulations part so this is sort of like the part 3 under dom manipulations and we've been going through different jquery inbuilt methods which perform dom manipulations so if you have missed the previous two videos do check them out because we've discussed some other methods in those videos and this is sort of like the continuation of those videos so with that being said let's get started so as you can see on the screen we have a little bit of code already written you can pause the video and type it out but this is something which we've been doing in the previous couple of videos also we have the body we have four or five six different buttons with six different names append after prepend before remove and empty which are basically the jquery inbuilt methods which are going to be helping us performing dom manipulations so a little bit theory about them is written over here we have a division we have a paragraph with its respective id and class we also have an external css file which is giving the styling to this division with a border of 2 pixels and then a little bit of margin and padding lastly we also have our jquery.js file being loaded over here at the end of the html document after the body and then we have our script tag inside which we have ready method or ready function inside which we will be writing the jquery code okay so these are the six methods that are going to be performing different dom manipulations so let's start off with the first one that is the append method so the append method inserts content at the end of the selected items okay or elements so what this helps us achieve is let's say you want to add a little bit of text after a particular element on the html document so let's say you want to add one more paragraph after this paragraph or you want to add one more paragraph after this division so depending upon where exactly you want to add it you will be using the append method and you will be selecting that particular element so let's do the append method first so we have to first use the click event of this button so you have to access that button right so let's do that i'm going to say dollar inside this i'm going to pass the id of the button which is btn1 so this is the id and i'm using the id selector so i have to use the hash i'm going to say dot click that's the click event and inside this i'm going to say function opening and closing round brackets of the function opening and closing curly braces of the function here what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this division okay so the division id is div1 so let's select that so i'm going to use the selector again here i'm going to see div1 because that's the division id and i'm going to say append okay so what i want to append is another paragraph so i just have to write the paragraph as a parameter over here so i'm going to see p close the p tag and i'm going to say this is second para by the way this is the first one so let me change that okay so i'm going to say this is second para in first division and let's see how this works okay i'm going to click on append over here and there you go you can see the paragraph was added inside the division but it is at the end so that's what append does append inserts content at the end of the selected element so which element did we select we selected the division right so the paragraph or whatever thing that we are wanting to add was added inside the division at the end so now let's see what the after method would do let me just read it out inserts content after the selected element so what we'll do is we'll quickly copy this entire click event and we'll just change the button id to 2 because the after button id is btn2 so we'll access its click event and now what we'll do is we'll just change this to after okay now let's see what is the difference first i'm going to click on append and you can see the paragraph was added inside the division so now i'm going to click on after and now you can see that the paragraph was added but it was added outside the division so that is what is the difference between append and after so after inserts the content after the selected element and append inserts the content what whatever we want to insert at the end of the selected element so that's the very important difference that you need to know now let's see prepend and before okay so what i'm going to do is again copy this entire code paste it over here and change the button id to 3 so the button id 3 is for prepend right so let's change the code also so i'm going to say prepend over here now let's see how prepend works so when i click on prepend the paragraph got added inside the division but it got added at the very first that is before this initial paragraph so what prepend does is it inserts content at the beginning of the selected element rather than at the end of the selected element okay so that's the difference between prepend and append and similar to that we have before 
so let me just copy this entire code again let's just change the id to btn4 which is for before so i'm gonna change the code over here to before okay now let's click on before let's first click on prepend so prepend adds content to the selected element but at the very start so it adds inside that same element and when i click on before you can see that the paragraph got added before that entire division because we selected the division and we said before so the content was added before that division so on top of it at the very beginning so just to actually give you all differences between all the four let me just refresh this append is adding the content inside that same element which is selected but at the very end prepend is adding the same content in the same selected element but at the very start after is adding content after the selected element and before is adding content before the selected element so pretty much makes sense right so these four things are done let's see how you can remove all this okay so now this is adding some content adding some html elements using jquery methods but what if you want to remove them you can also do that by two methods which are remove and empty okay so let's see how these work i'm gonna copy again the code for this paste it two times and change the ids to btn5 and btn6 so btn5 is remove okay let me just add a comment over here this is for remove and this is for empty so remove as the name suggests removes the entire element which is selected okay so what i can do is i can just call remove over here i don't need to pass any parameters we are not actually changing anything we are completely removing it out right so now what it will happen is when i click on remove this entire division will be removed because we've selected the division if i click you can see the entire division being gone right similar to that we have empty but what empty does is empty removes the content inside the selected element so let me just change the code over here i'm gonna say empty now if i click on empty the division is gonna be there because we've selected the division but whatever inside the division is there is gonna be cleared out so if i click on this the paragraph or whatever content was there it got removed out but you can see the border is left out which means that the division is still there okay so that's the difference between remove and empty now a little bit of variation that you can do with remove is you can pass in parameters as in you can pass in some specific content that you want to remove okay so let me just copy and paste this over here and what i'm trying to say is let's say you want to remove a particular paragraph which has a particular class okay so what i'll do is i'll just copy this and paste it over here and i'm going to give it an id of 2 and i'm going to change the class as p2 class okay you don't need any kind of value i'm going to say this is second paragraph in the first division okay so now what you want to do is you want to remove only this second paragraph so obviously you cannot use empty right empty will completely remove everything inside the division and if you remove the entire division the entire division will be gone so you want to specifically remove only one particular paragraph so coming down to the code what you can do is instead of using the division id what you can do is you can select the paragraph but you want to remove only one particular paragraph right so you can pass the id of the paragraph so you can say hash p2 and now if i click on remove you can see that particular paragraph was removed okay so this is something that you can do these are certain variations that you can perform with the remove method also you can also pass multiple ids or multiple paragraphs so what you can do is let's say you want to remove both the paragraphs let's say you have multiple paragraphs but you want to only remove these two so these two have unique ids right so i can pass two ids so i can say comma i can say hash p1 and now what will happen is if i click on remove both these paragraphs will be removed because both these ids of both paragraphs have been passed over here so if i click on remove you can see both the paragraphs got removed similarly you can also pass their classes so the class is p1 class and p2 class using the dot operator so i can say dot p1 class and here i can say dot p2 class and it will work the same and it will remove all the paragraphs because we've selected the paragraphs but the id of the paragraph should be this or this so if i click on remove you can see both the paragraphs are removed so this is one variation that you can do with the remove method okay so that's it for this video guys in this video we went through six different methods the first four were when we want to add certain content depending upon where you want to add it and how you want to add it and lastly we also saw two methods which were used to remove content from the html document remove html elements itself that is the remove method and empty method 
so that's it for this video guys if you like this video do share it with your friends like this video let me know in the comments how this video was and i'll see you guys in the next video peace